Hey everyone, and welcome to Frenzy Season 6. So this is going to be an FFA season, and I I don't know how to commentate, but I'll I'll do my best, and uh, like I'm not going to complain about it being an FFA, because like, just because I'm, I'm not necessarily the best at commentary, like, it's definitely really cool that, that I can just like talk to myself about the game, I guess. So, there's just a mushroom up there on that hill, and I appreciate that. That is a good-looking mushroom. So, this is the group of people we have in the FFA4 Frenzy. Now, I'm probably not going to use the intro, because I just wasn't a big fan of it. Like, the, uh, not, not the, uh, intro, the instruments is like all the players with the music and stuff, but the intro where they, the host talks and stuff. So, I'm, I'm going to go over what the game mode was right now and try to clear that up because it's pretty confusing and I have to like keep it up on my second monitor just to look at it for reference because there's one specific detail that I'm I, I always forget like I've been told like 7,000 times what it is and I, I'm always like is it this or this so at night chat is disabled also at night zombies are replaced with ghasts now that's what I know off the top of my head but what I keep forgetting is the only time you can heal is at night time. So that's going to be interesting. So I think my plan was if I have five golden apples or more, I will um, I will PvP at night time. However, if I have less than five apples, I'm only going to PvP at night time. And I think that will... Like, that'll be the best strategy, I guess, for my PvP. Because I definitely don't want to be caught without healing at nighttime and then have other people healing. Or, I don't want to be caught with healing at daytime and not be able to use it. So, that's going to be really interesting. And, um, yeah. Oh my god! There's a ghast. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> But I'll just I'll just keep on playing and uh, see what happens. I, I I was under the impression that ghasts only spawned at night. They could very well be wrong. Uh, I'm just gonna ask to make sure because that would be rather unfortunate if. Uh, Yeah, so it looks like they forgot to start the script. That's all fine and dandy, but, um... So I guess, uh, chat was supposed to be off then, maybe? Either way, um, we'll just keep getting food. I, I'm gonna get a lot of food, because that's... You know, gotta have lots of food. I, uh, I guess I'll chop down trees in the swamp, even though it's not very thick. Um, yeah, that, this swamp will do for now. And I do have my player sounds off. So, um, it, so what that does basically is you cannot hear it when you hit a shot. You cannot hit it when you, like, hit someone with the sword, like I just decided to show you instead of just, uh, saying it. Um, and what else does it do? I can't hear when you pick stuff up or eat stuff. And now you're probably like, what are you doing? Like, that's a terrible idea. It's bad for UHC. But <laughs> the reason I use it is because it makes me a lot better at melee. And it might just be some, like, weird placebo effect. It might be... Uh, I don't even know. But it, it helps me, so I'm going to use it. Even though I, I recognize that it has its disadvantages... But, um, I, I'm, like, willing to accept them, I guess. So we got mobs right here, and I'm not about that life. So I'm gonna run this way. Oh, looks like we got an apple already. I did not know the apple apples in this texture pack were green, but whatever. It does not bother me. I was just not aware. So let me actually chop down this tree, too. Just I need as much wood as possible. I'm planning on getting probably, uh... A stack of logs, just because I like to have a good enough amount to where I won't feel like I am like 
tight on the log situation. <laughs> That's really weirdly worded, but I'm gonna rock with it and so I think I wanna get like at least like eight apples. <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot of chopping that I'm gonna have to do. Because the, like what always happens to or at least to me is that I end up Ooh, wait, wait, I'm gonna grab that spider real quick. But what I do is I end up like getting way too much gold and like maybe like two or three apples and I'm like, well, now I have to go farm apples and then I might get killed on the surface while trying to get apples with a bunch of gold on me. And that's no fun. So I'm gonna try to get as many apples as I can right now while I am safe. And then I can just, uh, I won't have to bother getting apples later. So I think that would be... Oh, I see a player. Who is that? Paper Vinny. Probably a Paper Vinny. So I have four right now. Uh, still want to get quite a quite a few more. Well, there's another one and another one. I'm currently fighting a creeper while collecting apples. Oh, there's another one and another one. All oh, right, we are up to eight already. That's crazy. So I think we're good here. So, looks like I am good to... Actually, no, I'm not good, because I need books. So, all I really need is enough for one book, because anvils are off and bookshelves are off. So, there's really no point in getting more than one book. So, I'm I'm definitely okay with that. I was actually the one who suggested that, and he took it. And I think Edvin's actually not playing because of that. So that's, I don't know, whatever, that's his choice, I guess. So... All I really need is uh, a cow, and after I kill a cow, or get some leather for, for, from some bunnies or uh, horses, then I will be able to, um, I'll be able to go, oh my gosh, there's a skelly right there, I'll be able to go down and uh, be ready for caving, I guess. So yeah, you might notice that you can't hear me eat my food, and that is one of the quote unquote side effects of not having your player sounds on. But again, it, it helps me in Minecraft PvP, so and there's just a conveniently placed mushroom stuff for me here. Alright, that is two string, that is awesome. So new now we're two thirds of the way to getting a bow. And there's tags over there with his uh pit skin. Is that a cave? Oh nice cave, okay. I just got a Skype message, by the way. I need to make sure it's not... Oh. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Lynn? Lynn messaged me saying, give me a shout-out in Frenzy. Okay, thanks. Alright, well. Lenboy124 is a fantastic person, and you should subscribe to him. And I'm considering trying to get in this cave, but I'm going to take the safe route and go like this. So the skeleton does not shoot me when I try to go in. Okay, so that was... That was good. So it looks like we got some, like, outlined ores in this texture pack, which is pretty nice, because it's not, like, the super ugly kind. It's just, like, so you know the corners have filled in. So let me get some, uh... Oh, wow. So Sean sees Vinny. Which means that I'm also close to Sean. So I have ten feathers. That's actually not bad. I would have preferred more. And I actually might have to go to the service on Enchanted. If... Uh, if it comes to it, because I don't have the leather that I need. And wow. I see, like, no iron, but it does seem to go farther down there. Let me make torches right now while I'm thinking about it, because otherwise I will forget and end up just not using torches at all. Let me get some blocks on my bar as well. So it looks like Acorn was the first damage, maybe? Maybe it was Evader. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Yes, you can craft bows. <laughs> of course you can. Get in chance somehow. And I can dig straight down from here. So it looks like we're getting fairly low. Let's see, what's over this way? This way looks like it's nothing. This way, oop, we just instantly broke that torch. This way we got a little bit of iron. I want to get full iron as soon as possible. Um, yeah, it looks like this way is going to be the way to go for my cave. So 
That deck is on 92, but it seems like he has armor. I, I feel like that's a... Please don't kill me. This is a bad place to fight a creeper. Dear God. <laughs> okay, there we go. And it looks like it'll take one more hit. It'll be gone. So, still pretty disappointed about the fact. Oh my! That could have been death. <laughs> so, disappointed about the fact. Are these diamonds? I don't think so. <laughs> Disappointed about the fact that I didn't get any leather. I, c I might go up like episode three and try to find some. Like, I I might even like find diamonds like right here because this looks like a solid place. It's got some lapis over there. I think it has 1.8 enchanting. So what is this like 14? So that's a Y11 down there. So I actually want to explore that as well. So I'm gonna dig around. I'm gonna readjust because my headphones are on the wheel of my chair. Oh my gosh, it's coming out. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have to fix this. It's really bugging me. Like, I have to do surgery on my chair. There we go. Okay, chair surgery is complete. Might as well start cooking some stuff while I am like spending the time to dig around all this. So let's make four furnaces. And I guess I'll split that into threes and then okay, is there any coal around here? Not really, I'll just split my wood. That's really not enough wood for each thing, but whatever. There we go. So I'm hoping to find some early diamonds. That would be absolutely fantastic. There's some more redstone. Yeah, I guess that's not, definitely not the diamond texture. I, I'm guessing they're going to be purpley in this pack, maybe? Yeah, that would make sense considering, you know, the purple hot bar, the purple hearts. So, actually, let me... Let me stick some things in here, and I can grab some of that. And I need to remember that once this is over, I can go back up there, and it looked like there was another decent way I could go. But for now, it looks like we've got a solid low Y-level cave. So let me grab some more coal, because I will inevitably need coal. gonna ignore the problems because who needs to focus on the problems I just really don't want this lava to flow on me that would be extremely unfortunate So that goes up that way. I already have an extensive cave. I don't even know what to do. I'm just running around in circles. Uh, looks like there's no diamonds over there, so I'm just going to not bother. I'll just keep grabbing iron, I guess. So it looks like we got a pretty good start so far. Oh my god, Tags is on 23. That's unfortunate. I think he was lagging, but I don't know if that was the cause of his damage. Let's run over this way and be careful. Because I can grab this lapis right now, it doesn't really matter. I already have eight levels, so that's pretty chill. More lapis. Might as well. Just for the levels, because uh, I think we're going to have to do a lot of level 8 enchants, which are really 3 levels, but you gotta be high level for them, so. I don't even know where I'm going right now. But I do not see diamonds, so I'm gonna stop and go back and get my furnaces. And I hear gas! That's so horrifying. Oh my god. 
Okay, so let me stick some more uh, coal in these furnaces. Okay, and I can throw that out now, I guess, and make a fancy new iron pickaxe. Grab some redstone here. Oh. Okay, well that was that was unexpected, but definitely I won't take it. So let me throw out some stuff that I don't really need at the moment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of sticks and a bunch of crafting tables and a bunch of a. Uh, of planks just so I have like everything I really need. Alright, looks like I can start making my bucket, my sword, and then we can start on our armor. Which will be we'll make pants. And I'm gonna head over here because it looks like there's some water over there and I really want to grab water because I'm getting pretty nervous with all this lava around me. So I just need one more string for a bow, and then I'll be able to shoot 40 arrows from it, so that's definitely solid. Okay, so we got more Y11 cave right here. And I grab that. And let me light the area up real quick. So it looks like no diamonds in this segment either, unfortunately. But hey, always got to grab the redstone and the iron. And I'll grab a decent amount of iron just for picks, shovels, extra buckets, flint and steels. You never know what you're going to need. So might as well just get a little bit of a surplus. So it looks like uh, most people are doing alright on health. Except for tags. And so night PvP is also super hectic, because we did do a test game for this, oops, and uh, PvPing at night was crazy. You had to constantly be moving. There were probably like three or four guys shooting at you at a time. It was really crazy. I suggested replacing uh, skeletons with blazes, but we decided not to do that. I thought it would have been cool, but uh, I guess not everyone did, so that's fine, whatever. And looks like once I smelt all this, we will have enough for our full iron, and we can uh, pack up all our stuff and go cave uh, more extensively. Because we have not found a single thing of gold yet, and I'm pretty disappointed about that, I'm not going to lie. Guess I don't need these furnaces right now. Let me arrange my inventory, that'll be good. Yeah, I guess that, that's a decent organization. I need everything in there, so. Let me water bucket that and do some uh, cheeky digging while I wait for my stuff to smell. Because I'm definitely more used to 1.8 rates, and this is a 1.7 generated cave or generated world, so. What is this? This is just more. Or that I honestly do not remember where like the main section of cave that I was talking about was so I'm, I'll try to find that I think it was up there but I'm not 100% sure so we can uh, we can head up here and check it out actually I can make some more torches right now just cause uh, I guess I can grab some flint as well just so I don't have to deal with that later. No. Procrastination is the worst thing ever. Like, it's just best to get stuff done uh, when you're thinking about it and not forget about it or don't put it off, you know? So... Okay, so we're back in this, like, original ravine. Looks like those creepers did not completely respawn. Um, I was kind of nervous about that skelly, and I'm gonna wall up right here, just so it doesn't get me from behind. And that can't hit me, can it? Hope not. 
Oh, see you guys next time in Frenzy Season 6.